Hello everybody, this video is created by Websoft Creation. Now our Websoft Creation portal is going to change and we we are going to change the uh, final layout of our Websoft Creation. So today I am going to discuss a very important topic that is Ajax Client Callback. Usually what kind of problem our developer is face that are that uh, if he if you are if he is uh, he is putting the the username and is he want to check the check availability that it is available or not and if we click on available then the all the data and other controls will be lost after post back so in each and every post back as we know that http protocol is a stateless protocol that's why it can't maintain the state of controls that's why to maintain the state of controls we we have to do some state management techniques so uh, I'm not going to discuss about the state management technique. Here I am going to discuss about only and only Ajax callback. By Ajax callback, your web page will not uh, post back and uh, your user output you will get. So, let's, uh, first of all, I want to give an example over here and I want to uh, show the fi out final output of my program that I have made an, an a table my database name is Ganesha and my table name is info here I have some fields like ID name F name rating and number of rates I want to check that if name is given by user is already exist in this table then web form should show some message that this username is already available if this username is not available then it show a message that it is not available so let's find out I will copy it and uh, I will place here okay now if I click on button then you will find that username is already exist here what output you have seen that if I put a password field value and if I click on this button then you will find that username is available the message has been showed but your this control state is maintained that's why we use ajax client callback this video is created by websoft creation and i am requesting some other persons who are copywriting my videos it's not good so please don't mind but there is no need to copyright to copy my videos okay so here i i want only discuss my topics that's why i am sharing my knowledge with you so i'm going to Describe the whole output that uh, the which manner I I do programming. So first of all, I made an connection and I write connection string to connect with my SQL server. This is my connection string. SQL connection con equal to new SQL connection, and this is the connection string. This is my server name. This is database name, and this is the login mode that is Windows authentication. So at page load event, I have to do some coding uh, it's not a uh, work coding right now uh, I want to remove this code because this code is related to another topic so as you have seen over here that I have is post back okay right so first of all uh, what I have to do I have to implement an interface we have an interface in uh, from uh, framework 3.5 that is I callback event handler if you want to do this kind of programming then you have to implement this interface and this interface have two methods so how we can do this uh, you can uh, do it by right click on this and implement interface then you will find a another option over here because I have already implemented here in this code that's why the, the that the message has, uh, is not showing over here that's why uh, if you have to click on first option implement interface then after click on that implement interface then you will find two methods which are required method to implement your Ajax client callback so what's the method are this is the first method and this is the second method so this interface is implementing two methods these are some required methods and you have to implement them so I'm going to write a JavaScript code okay 
so first of all i want to uh, discuss about the layout that uh, what layout i have used in this uh, example uh, first uh, first of all i made an button and uh, on on client click i ca i call a call server function text box one dot value as we know that on client click property of button control is used to implement javascript code before posting your data to the server and if on client click property is false then the data will not be transfer onto the server that's why i have used over here on client click property and i am calling a call server function which will be uh, which, we, which will be implement in code behind file and i am getting the text box one dot value so as you are confused that why i have used over here the value because we know that each server side control will convert in HTML controls at the client side and if I using here text box 1 as a server side control then the client side control it will be convert in input type equal to text and uh, to to retrieve the text uh, control value we used we have to use a value property in HTML that's why uh, this is the client side scripting language of a script that's why I have to use the text box 1 dot value and it will return false that what's the need of return false because it will always return false that's why the, the your data will not transfer your whole page will not uh, will not be transferred to the server so let's find out that how we can do this uh, first of all I on the page uh, is post back we know I'm not go going to discuss about the is post back because I, I uh, discuss, uh, discussed in previous videos so please follow them uh, first of all I made a uh, string variable callback event ref. This is a user defined variable, and uh, I am using here page dot client script get callback event reference. This is a invert method, as uh, you as you uh, you can see here. The message obtain a reference to a client function that when in board invoked initiate a client callback to a server event. So there is no need to uh, discuss about it more because you have seen over here this is this is the this is for the control current control and event arguments is the argument which will be passed to the server so this is the event ARGS so if you change over here then you have to change over here also so another function is that uh, get call from server get call from server what is the get call from server this is my function name get call from server so I have implement or passing two arguments that is event arguments and second one is the function name in this client script so get from server and this is empty string so another thing I will make uh, another object or uh, another variable string variable client script and uh, here I am going to implement a another function that is function call server so what is function call server as you implement here call server so this call server when you click on that button then this uh, the button will call this function and this function will use this function so this function is implemented in your head tag that's why uh, you have to use two methods so you have to register your uh, this uh, client side scripting at your web page to implement this we n we have a method or you can uh, that is page dot client script dot register client script blog so I am going to discuss about it that uh, what's the mean of this uh, particular function and what's the need of this function that you want that on your page load that this is client script should be stored at your at your server side so this dot get type uh, retrieve the type of uh, function you are going to execute and call server my function name and client script as uh, the function uh, details has been uh, uh, put here uh, so and this is one true this is a uh, some required parameters uh, you have to put them so I am getting here a string variable callback data it will return the final output of your string that uh, as you seen on on the output that uh, username is already exist or not so that message will transfer from this string variable as I told you previously that uh, we have to implement two methods get call back result and the raise call back event these are two methods and in this method this is the first one method is call, uh, get call back result so whatever script you have implemented or whatever result you have uh, get from this event will be returned to the client side by, imp by this method right so I have made an, a, an string variable and I am returning the value of that variable from this event 
so it will call automatically there is no need to call it explicitly and the second one is a raise call event string event arguments so when you click on this then event arguments what's the event arguments that whatever data you are posting from the client that uh, that is username okay so i am putting this uh, value in uname variable and i am getting i am writing a sql query to uh, to get data as per on from uname okay so select the stick from info where name equal to uname cmd right uh, as i know that uh, and you know about this code there is no need to uh, explain it again so dr dot read method what's the purpose of dr dot read method the dr dot read me me method will return true value if data reader have some row then so if it if in if it is have any row it means that the whatever uh, data has given by the user on the web form is already exist in, in that table so i will write here call call back data username is already already exist this is my final message that will shown on your uh, client page right and otherwise if uh, data reader don't have any data it means that the uh, username is given by uh, user is, is not already exist uh, call back data username is available con dot close so it will return some data so i am going to describe the output the whatever uh, function is has been called by the server and uh, event arguments the event arguments means that the callback data will transfer in this event args and uh, we will implement this document dot get element by id level 1 dot inner html i want that uh, as we know that the level 1 what is level 1 is it is a span control of html so document dot get element by id level one dot inner html equal to event arguments so username is already exist or not it will uh, message will come in, in in this particular par parameter and that parameter uh, data will post on inner html coding okay so this video as i told you this these are some functions and uh, web soft creation this is my company name thank you for watching for this video I'm going to uh, upload some more videos. So uh, I want to uh, I want I want to request you if you have any query related to ASP.NET, Salesforce, Oracle, PHP, Joomla, Drupal, Cake PHP. If you have any queries, any if any developer finding any problem to implement their code, then he can register on my website. Uh, websoftcreation.co.in and can transfer his uh, request to me and uh, can transfer his code and I will uh, I will uh, if a developer has me has been made any mistake then I will uh, re rectify that and I will return you back revert you back thank you watching for this uh, thank you for watching this video I will upload more videos and you